most southwestern region in England, a region known for its rugged coasts, its mysterious history, and its Cornish language. Cornish has endured a lot. For centuries, it was suppressed, and eventually it disappeared in the late 1800s. But soon afterwards, it revived again. Now, Cornish is still seen as a threatened language close to extinction. Nowadays, only approximately 300 people speak Cornish on a daily basis. Does the Cornish language have a future, or is it lost? Could you briefly tell us a bit about the condition of the Cornish language in t today in 2009? In some ways, it's better than it's been for a long time. Uh, the revival of the language started at the beginning of the 20th century, but recently, from 2003 onwards, we've had a degree of recognition and the partnership has started. And how do you think it will survive in the next few decades to come? It's difficult to say. The uh, number of speakers is still very small, uh, but there's a lot of interest out there. So I think probably um, if that interest keeps, keeps up, as I think it will, because people are interested in where they come from and, and what's around them and their own culture, then I think we'll have a lot more people who know about Cornish and know a little Cornish. I think it's more than survive, it will actually take off and I think hopefully if we look perhaps 20, 30 years time you could have almost half the population of Cornwall speaking at least some Cornish. Um, I would have thought it was quite slim really. I don't know anybody that speaks Cornish. Well it hasn't got really any chance to survive, it's simply a culture language that people play at. If you went in the shop or come into the pub now and said something in Cornish I want to find, I don't think there's anybody here, including me, that would understand. You wouldn't know, but I think there are people who speak um, Cornish. Is it true um, that there's still Cornish people out there that speak um, Cornish as their first language? As a first language, yes. As an only, only language, not that I'm aware of. It's a fine myth, an urban myth. I'd be really surprised if it was true. Do we know if there's any uh, monoglot speakers around Cornwall? Well, it's interesting you should ask that because everybody says no, of course not. But there is a rumour that there are still people who do speak Cornish. They are monoglots and they don't speak English. Where can we find them? Up on the moor somewhere. If you go up to a village called Minions and go on past there, up onto the moor, near, near the hurlers, then I think that's where people can direct you. Yes, we have heard that there are families that just speak Cornish. Um, I'm not sure where, but I think you'll find it's more um, rural, countryside. That there's, there's a family or, you know, a small community where they just speak Cornish. And um, not that I've met them. But I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, I have heard about it. They live actually not far away from here. But I really don't think you should go there. I think they just like to be left in peace. People who still only speak Cornish, I was surprised and wondered if this rumour could be true. We're heading off to the location she mentioned to find out more. Oh, my God. Who the is? Tuck the priva, you are, ma. To tell him we're not, we're not here to annoy him or anything. Near, near Cassidy Cropler. We just, we just want to talk to him. Is there any way to talk to him? Cassidy Cusel, these in Kevin Clinic. He doesn't have to talk to us if he doesn't want to. Is he's raised his Cusel, Mars and the Cassister. Well, Mars, you had a good reason. Mars, what you do with Gil, Bri, I can be in in summer. I can afford though. So, Governor, I guess Governor, though, ask the question. Um, is it true that you're the last monoglot family living around here? Oh, we spoke to the Cornish Language Society and they informed us that you were the last ones around. Not happy with the camera's presence. We put the camera in a bag, but continued recording. Cornish is a, a dead language. Right, uh, Gwes, can I go, uh, yes, Mary? Can I? No. Then do you have a good bit? When you use a good bit, then has your partner any use of? Will you ask them if they've got any contacts with the outside world? Right, Gwes, me and bees, amazing name, ma. Well, I'm very honest. Me and Annie. Okay, 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 cool. Okay, we'll turn it off. We'll turn it off. Okay, cool.